Look, he starts like fingering her left butt cheek. Because he thinks it's her. Yeah. Look at that. What are you doing, dude? You Dude, you something. bitching about a game makes me want to bitch about a game now. Now that I finally like delved into Battlefield 2042, I heard there's a lot of glitches for that too. And yeah, it's uh. But I heard that they released notes and hired someone else, and apparently they uh they decide what's gonna happen within the next 12 months. You see, you saying that you need to watch that animated show that I told you about. I'm on like episode three. Oh, dude, do you like it? I love it. Yes. From the first, from the first like 10 seconds of the guy. Sometimes I feel like the sun that's such a feat. Yeah. So do it with the feet. I shoot and skeet. Yeah. No shake my hand or reap. I'll throw the beats. I go to sleep and show my reach. Ask for treats. Silent sweep. Fill my wrath to peace. It's my greed. Spinning round my head. Go Fred. Leave it red. Made it red. All the blood I bled. All the blood I'm breaking bread. Through a flood and now I'm dead. Here a thud. It's time to shit. My outer shell went through a living hell. Now I'm here to dwell in my cell. Steady yells. All that you can spell. Made of a depressing cell. Haven't reached my perfect cell. Powered up. I don't feel well. Throwing up. I'm a fucking tell. It should be my meat. Then I go right to sleep. But speaking of dicks, we're going to get right into the episode of the Broke Knock Live podcast. Episode 73, where we beat our meat. And we go to sleep. Every every day. I every actually afternoon. took a I, I, I took a week break, actually. I've been I've been refreshing. I took a week break from that. And a week the, the way that you shifted your eyes makes it seem like you did not take a week break. No. <laughs> yes, but we took today. a... <laughs> We took a uh, a week break off from the podcast because I started uh, full time at the t shirt shop, and bro, getting off at like fucking five p.m. and then trying, dude, why does it get dark at fucking five o'clock, bro? That's that's insane. There's only two states, and those are I think Arizona and Hawaii that don't follow. The time change. Let's move to Hawaii and let's get the podcast up and go in there. No. It is very expensive because everything's flown in. Uh, apparently they're experiencing a uh, like an ice storm or some shit. Oh, what? Yeah. So <laughs> what? saw that on Reddit, so they, uh, take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. That's take insane. Take that as you will. But uh, let's get right into the if, episode. Let's if it is true, though, there's only two possible solutions. One, the government did it. Right. <laughs> Dude, an ice storm in Hawaii, it's always 80 degrees. It's like or 75, 80. Two. People are actually right and climate change is real. <laughs> <laughs> either or we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, either or we're fucked. <laughs> it don't fucking matter. Okay, but... Sometimes I that's such a feat. Yeah, do it with the feet. I shoot and skeet. No shake my hand or reach. I'll throw the beats, I go to sleep and show my reach, ask for treats, silent sweep, fill my right to peace, it's my greed, spinning round my head, the go reverb, bread, leave it red, made it 20, red, the, the 2018 reverb, all the blood I'm breaking bread, through a flood and now I'm dead, here a thud, it's time to shit, my outer shell went through a living hell, now I'm here all to right. dwell in my cell, steady yells, all that you can spell, I got a, I got a kind of a random episode for us today, there we go, a little random, the first clip is actually classic. But before we get to the first clip, Ooh. this is the Dak Attack with the Mac at the back of the sack. I still got it even Ooh. after a week. This is Coral. It's a bonus track off of his EP, Collective Thoughts, off of uh, SoundCloud. Look up Tides. It's in the description on every single episode. This is Coral. I have yet to listen to this, so let's uh, enjoy it together. Let's get it. Whoa. It's like introspective. Make you think about your life. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Dak. What? What am I hearing in my ears right now? It's like the... He's like recreating the rattle of an 808 in a car. You hear yeah. that, like behind the 808s? That's crazy. Where it's kind of like uh, drowning out the the speakers. Yeah, Low. yeah. And like that that sound effect, he like recreated it. 
That's dope, bro. But as you can see, we didn't do a Thanksgiving or a Ladsgiving special because honestly, I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> there, it was too much work and I, I fucking started full time and we're just going to go all out for the Christmas, which I talked to you about and yeah. I already got my shit coming. We're not going to announce anything. Shit, my shit order mine. is on the way. Yeah, I need to order Dude, I told, I told my mom about it. I just like mentioned it in conversation and she's like, okay, I'll get it for you. And I'm like, you really want to see me look like that much of an idiot? She's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there was only one other time, two other times, that you've looked like an idiot. The day you were born. <laughs> and the day you graduated. <laughs> I thought you were talking about on this on this podcast. I'm like, any of the times that I wore a suit or a fucking uh, no, German. <laughs> the German lederhosen. <laughs> you look perfectly fine. Whenever I was born and graduated. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Thanks, lady. <laughs> welcome son <laughs> <laughs> oh man but uh let's uh stop that abruptly and then get on with the gramps basement because i got let's see 10 clips i had an ad i had to add an extra one because i was waiting i had everything set up and i was just like taking a little break and then i found one and i'm like that has to go on today's episode has to go in there mm -hmm. so did you it, watch that video i sent you earlier mm -mm, i did not Sure. You said I saw I saw investment something. Yeah, it's a very good investment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, dude. I, honestly, I'm I'm very I'm very excited to hear this. Spell red. I haven't heard that in a while. L S T E R. My boy beat. <laughs> My boy beat. Dude, and maybe OBS won't have as many problems because it's not handling two webcams at once. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's actually. <laughs> Very wishful thinking. No, dude, we need we need to stop talking shit about OBS. <laughs> it, it can literally hear us right now. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Literally. Okay. Make sure everything's recorded. Blah 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 blah. Recording. Okay. Are you recording over there? Is that I'm recording? recording. Is that recording right there? Do you see a red light? Yes. Okay. Is that recording right there? I see no light. Yes, it is. Yes. All right. So this is the. F <laughs> all right. So this is for all my uh, my cod lads. Let's just let's just tune in. Funniest thing you're going to see today on my mama. Put <laughs> your ass back. Let's beat his ass. Oh, Everybody man. put their fist out. Yeah, Everybody take their fist out. <laughs> and whoever come up, we're going to beat his ass. We're going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All oh, right. my fucking God. I'm going to beat the shit out of this nigga. Larry, put the gun. Larry, put the gun. Pause it. Pause it real quick. So uh, we got to get better at uh, describing audio shit. So that they're playing Call of Duty Warzone, Warzone. right now, and <laughs> there are a bunch of people crowded around an elevator that are not an elevator, a little shaft thing that you rope up or whatever. Well, it's an elevator shaft. They're deep mm -hmm. in the heart of her dance. <laughs> crowded around an elevator shaft, and they're all putting away their guns, and they're just gonna beat the. F fuck out of this motherfucker with whoever comes up <laughs> whoever comes up they're beating the shit out of <laughs> all right let's see let's see what happened like chaos and sue hey hey y'all be still be still be still give me a last scooter or something i'm gonna take a screenshot of this there's one up here moving uh -oh. hey, come on, come on, one meter. please come up <laughs> 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 there you go. There you go. <laughs> they beat the shit out of him. Jump his ass. Come here. Oh, come here, bitch. <laughs> they got two. Dude. There you go. Beat his ass. I love how his partner came right behind. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. Dude, they're all fucking <laughs> squaring up on that motherfucker. <laughs> I would I would love to go out that way in Warzone. I don't play Warzone, but if I did, this is the only way I want to die. <laughs> You're here on the other side. Beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stop fighting and I'd just let it happen and just start laughing. I wouldn't be able to control myself. If I saw uh, that's how I died, just like three people. It's like <laughs> <laughs> the most real life way you can die. <laughs> Just get your ass beat. Dude, some dude in the back is jump his ass. <laughs> get him. 
And then on the last one, all I heard was, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's, let, let's roll to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god that's so violent man that that cheered me up <laughs> one more time <laughs> holy shit <laughs> with the force of thor dude oh my god dude it gets funnier every time dude he like hits something on his way down he like bounced off of that, and then like more force was pushed on him. To <laughs> he <laughs> smacks the wall <laughs> with his face. Oh my god! Uh, f- so for the audio listeners, this guy is just trying to eat some shit off of a plate in the it kitchen. It looks like barbecue lays. <laughs> while there's a Wait, steak why is there on a, the floor. Yeah, why is there <laughs> there's steak? a whole steak on the floor. They're in the kitchen, and then this dude who's filming just fucking ravishes, ravages this man. Sounds like this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking insane, man. That was great. I don't know where the uh what let, what let, let's just go to the next one. It should fucking shock you. No, it fell at me. Came at me. Oh my, oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Alright. Before chaos ensues, they got some idiots. I don't know what they're riding in. But they are coming down a parking garage ramp in something on four wheels. Very fast, I might add. Yeah, very fast. It looks like a 45-degree angle. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Riley's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Who's stopping this? It's a fucking basket. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> okay, hold up. They were, it looks like they were a target. It's a red-ass basket. Dude, they sm- <laughs> they fucking smashed into that sun. <laughs> God, <laughs> God damn, dude, it's so yeah, much wait, wait. different hearing it on like studio headphones. Cause I hear this like on my phone, uh, like <laughs> I hear this on my phone, fucking sound quality, and <laughs> hearing that fucking smash is fantastic. Oh, it's great. All right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ridiculous, man. Uh, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I, I, like, I happen? knew exactly what was going to happen, but what made me save it is just the the, the loudness of that impact, man. <laughs> <laughs> they smashed so many things. I love how they had the greatest idea in the world. Like, And then in the middle and then of no it. stopper. Yeah, in the middle of it, they're like, wait, who's stopping this? <laughs> <laughs> that, that never crossed wait. their mind. <laughs> wait, yeah, you're right. Who's going to stop this? <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. Maybe not a question. <laughs> yeah, apparently, man. <laughs> uh, all right, on to the next one. All right, pause. Hold up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is the one that I had to add late. So we're just going to watch a couple in the middle of a store or wherever. They're ordering food. They're uh, being filmed by this dude sitting down, and they're just Do touching each things. other's booties. And we'll see. To the lengths that they go. A brown starfish. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking golden eye. And the brown <laughs> eye. <laughs> Bro. What? Dude. Do you see what I see? Nothing. Her pussy's in the back. <laughs> she got a back puss? <laughs> that was... <laughs> Look, he starts, like, fingering her left butt cheek. Because he thinks it's her. Yeah. Look, look, look at that. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? He's, like, reaching in. <laughs> this is cringe. That's for all my uh, that's for all my couples out there. This is cringe. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough. <laughs> Jesus. Crap. <laughs> if you do this with your couple, with your couple, I guess you're a swinger then. Bro, at least get the right spots. <laughs> I told you. You thought I was lying. 
I'm a I'm a crop that out and then just like hide that in the thumbnail. <laughs> Feel free to make that my lips for the thumbnail. <laughs> All I gotta do is just vertically. No, no, no. That would be yeah. Vertically flip it and then fucking rotate that bitch. Put it on your lips. Texture it in. <laughs> yep. There you go. You got back post lips. <laughs> back post lip. Get your back post lip ass. <laughs> BPLs, bro. <laughs> that's good. That's gonna that's gonna catch on, and that's gonna be which uh, back puss head looking at <laughs> <laughs> you BPL bitch. <laughs> Cringe. Yeah, shout out to all the BPLs out there, bro. Back puss lip. <laughs> back puss lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, so uh, this we're re- not in well. We're revisiting our old lad. Tweak season. Play the tape. Training day. She's by the oh, fuck ass. No Denzel Washington. Yo, but where's the dog with the cigar in his mouth? Where's that? Y'all don't sell that one? The dog with the cigar. Like, he be talking mad shit. Somebody's back there? Why somebody's back there? Playing with the puppets. Hey, yo. I like your selection, though. That's tough. That lady was looking Training through day. him. Dude. No one ass. answered him. No NPC. Washington. She uh, looked through yo, him. Where's the dog with the cigar in his mouth? Like where's she that? heard where the sound came from and looked the the through him. Like he be talking mad shit. Somebody's back there? Why somebody's back there? Playing with the puppets. Hey, yo. He asked like three questions in a row. Not a single and answer. She's like, who's talking right now? Training day. She's about to bust. She's about to bust out. No Denzel Washington. There you go. Somebody back there? Looking through him. Dude, that's that's honestly pretty fucking creepy. That was after he asked a question. <laughs> Dude, he was asking questions the entire time. The entire video. And that she obviously works there. No one answered a single question. Nobody ever answers him besides Dude, the dog saw him. Remember? He's an that proves that he's an apparition and he's just going through a simulation. How does he have a cell phone? Shit. You're right. That's a physical aspect of this world. Unless he struck, he struck a deal. Well, I don't know. Apparitions can 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 mess with electricity. So maybe he's in the internet. All right, next tape. Shout out, flight. Looking through that motherfucker. I mean, all the way through him. She looks like one of these dolls. <laughs> yeah, she does. She looks lifeless. I mean, literally. Like the doll she has in her hand. Blood sucking bitch. Fucking lady. <laughs> My dad had a little too much fun at <coughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, really? Damn. People are watching you. What is I had to throw in a little bit of Thanksgiving <laughs> stuff. <laughs> We're never ever going to do this again. This is ridiculous. I, I Bro. I already raised my kids. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I want to still to remind you. Omar, close the thing. I need to move the car. Omar. All right, pause this. All right, so this family is recording their dad after Thanksgiving. Apparently, he got too fucked up. He is and he's literally, literally swamped. I think he's like only being held by the seatbelt. It looks yeah, like I he's just so. hanging. <laughs> He's uh, hanging outside of the fucking door. His head is just fucking dangling. He's out. <laughs> I mean, out. Capital O U T, out. You ever been that fucked up? Yeah. Outside of a car door like that? Yeah, there was. I had someone throw up on my car door. <laughs> there, were, there was one time I got shoisted at the Texas Club and we had to leave early and the pole was holding me up outside. I was wrapped around the pole like that. Fingers crossed. Wrapped around it. <laughs> the security guard said. That was the only thing keeping you up. Yeah, that was the only thing keeping me up. Security security guard said something along the lines of, uh, if you let go of that pole, the world ends. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I held on. Until yeah, dude, Uber that probably there. really got into you. You're like, all right, motherfucker. I'm holding this Death for it more. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't let go of the pole until the Uber got there. And then I wound up <laughs> face out. Window, face out, Ugh. just puking, probably all on the side of the car. On the Uber? Probably. Yeah. At least it was outside, though. Yeah, at least it was outside. At least it was outside. At least you got the common decency. I had someone fucking throw up on the inside of my car door. Oh, I'm but, like, bruh. But I do have bruh. pictures from Florida that <laughs> I don't remember taking. 
<laughs> is what it is. We drank a gallon of of Taylor juice, which is blue sapphire gin mixed with lemonade. Oh, gin, man. Oh. We all drank a gallon of it. Yeah, I, I blacked out during the day. <laughs> There'd be no way I'd be. I'd be blacked out for like a week. I'll be blacked out. It gin, was fun. Gin is just especially harsh on me, man. I just do not like that taste. Unless it's like mixed in really fucking well. Yeah, I mixed it really good with the lemonade. You could barely taste it, but you got you fucked. Oh, uh, man. Because that uh, shit gets you fucked uh, up. I would use like half the fifth in like a gallon. God. Or maybe even less. Maybe it was a quart. That's like giving a me a gallon. headache, man. Yeah. Everyone liked it, so. <laughs> I bet so, man. Everybody was fucking dead. I that, bet that everybody that was, the was dead the next day. Every Well, this was... <clears throat> this was a long time ago, so everyone was just passing it back every time we took it out. Everyone would just drink it. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, Those were the days, man. <laughs> let's let's skip this guy because I think he shows up again or something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's. Uh, let, when, let's just, let's just roll the clip. It's just uh when she threatens to put you in an old folks home. About me and that's it, it motherfucker. Listen to what he says. Damn. How the fuck you gonna put a pimp back? No. <laughs> Damn. Crazy. <laughs> fucking crazy. Are you fucking <laughs> crazy? Who put a pimp back? Who put, puts a pimp back? Who puts a pimp back? <laughs> <laughs> Who puts a pimp Dude, back? Dude, I just love how nonchalant and fucking serious that motherfucker was. The fuck you gonna put a pimp About back? About me and that's it, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. Damn. How the fuck you gonna put a pimp back? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crazy. He already knew what he wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking crazy. You fucking the fuck you gonna put a pimp back? <laughs> <laughs> Who put some pimp back? You fucking kidding me. The laugh at the end. There's some phlegm in that laugh, man. That laugh at the end. Pimp <laughs> back. <laughs> play, play the play the pimp back again. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna put a pimp back? <laughs> oh man! Back. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna put a pimp back? <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, if they weren't in the car laughing at him, he would have been dead serious. He wouldn't have been oh, no laughing doubt. at all. No laughs. laughs. He would have been. He's still not laughing. Yeah, he's. Like, he's only. Like, he's only smiling. Yeah, he's because, like, I'm fucking for real, bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Yeah, he said, "You fucking crazy. Yeah, you fucking crazy. How the fuck are you gonna put a pimp back? <laughs> I need to always remember that. How the fuck are you gonna put a pimp back? What a fucking philosopher, <laughs> man. That needs to be everyone's password. <laughs> How the fuck you go put a pimp back? <laughs> Fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. So we got another dad coming home from Thanksgiving dinner. We're all from uh, the moonshine. Yeah. So he had moonshine and they stopped the car to uh, try to let him puke. And this is this is what, <laughs> this is what happens. I'm in the lead. I might puke. I might puke. <laughs> he sounds like me when I'm about to puke. Yeah, I want to camp here. <laughs> Can we camp here? Yep. I think we had some covers. We camp out here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm ready to puke you. <laughs> but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you whatever. <laughs> 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 He's trying so hard. 
Exactly. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. <laughs> All that, and I'm not ready yet. I can feel it. <laughs> I love the end. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh man i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet <laughs> after all that i'm not ready yet uh time to go oh well, shit pause real quick you see that top audio thing that's going with my voice yeah can you mute that yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. Hey, what a coincidence. Joke, joke. No shit. Yeah. Can you see it now, Chris? Jojo. Shout out Jojo. <laughs> That's my mom. I guess that means play. <laughs> you got one good line. Give me a line you use. While you in that ass, you tear it up, you talk and shit, Jojo. What do you say? It ain't even over yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he asked them, if you uh, whenever you in that ass, what do you say? You use. While you in that ass, you tear it up, you talk and shit, Jojo, what do you say? Over yet. It ain't even over yet. <laughs> yeah, we just get stuck. Give me a line you use. While you in that ass, you tear it up, you talk and shit, Jojo. What is this? It ain't over yet. I have no idea. What is this? I, it looks like it's in like a gym or some shit. I'm saying. <laughs> and it ain't over yet. <laughs> it ain't even over yet. Nope. <laughs> I think oh, that's it. Oh, fuck. That is it. White people, I got a question. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is, this is to end it all. All right. Let's just, let's just listen. White people, smile. White people, I got a question. If you're not white, keep scrolling. Hey, yo, what's that smile you be giving us me? Oh, this one? Yeah, it's just like a way for me to, like, greet you. Like, because you're black. Well, not because you're black. <laughs> I feel like if I say yo or like what's up or do a head bob, like I'm like putting you in a box and trying to greet you. Like I think black people talk. Well, black people don't talk like any one way. I, like I'm not, like, I'm not like greeting you different based off your race. Like I'm not <laughs> racist. I, no, because like I listen to rap music and stuff. Not that black people. It's a train wreck. Music, but, like even when I'm just like hanging out, just taking a deeper like, hole. I don't, like sing along and say the n word. I, like no, I, I wouldn't say that. I'm not racist. <laughs> like even if there's no black people around. <coughs> obviously there are because I'm friends with lots of black people um and I would like never say the hard R well I don't say I don't say like any R because I don't <laughs> say it because like I'm not racist you, like you're, I, I'm not treating you different <laughs> I was uh, waiting for it to go on for another 30 minutes people, I, I just question. love how that white keeps scrolling he just hey, yo, goes deeper and deeper and deeper <laughs> it's fantastic <laughs> would you like to answer his question I do. I do the same thing. Me too. I know. I like. I heard about that joke like a few years ago, and like I catch myself doing it, and I don't know why. I know why. It's like, it's so I don't have to stop and say, "Hey, how's it going?" Because I don't really care. Yeah, because like I don't. I don't do a head nod or like. Wait, wait. I do. If I know you, sometimes I'll go. I'll do the head nod. I think I go like down, like, like, like that. Yeah, like with the smile. Like, I'm gonna start doing that from now on. <laughs> Because I think doing it up like that <laughs> is, like, too, like, abrasive. Like, what's up? Like, that's saying what's up. This is just, like, acknowledging that you're, like, passing by. Right. Yeah. Like Pretty much. That's like, pretty like, much spot on. Like, tipping the I'm head. acknowledging your existence. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're doing the same. This is like, yo, what's up? What's good? Yeah. Like, if, if I know you, I'm a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just because just cause you're white don't mean I know you. <laughs> not, a, not, every not, white, uh, not every white person gets a... Okay, so what's up? Only if I know you, man. Not every white guy looks the same, god damn it. No, well, Most unless if they're us. an island boy. <laughs> island boy. Oh, my, dude, I, I put saw... my vest down, yeah. I'm an island boy. Dude, they got fucking booed off stage. 
uh, I watched, uh, I think it may have been Patrick CC who released this video, but what happens when TikTok fame meets reality? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was probably that video of them get, getting booed off stage. It was. Dude, they were just repeating that same shit over and over, and everybody realized that it it was funny maybe the first five seconds, and then after that, they're just repeating Island Boy with no right. like music behind them. With nothing. Or anything. Like, <laughs> like boo! Like, media entertainment is completely different from actually entertaining people. Yeah. In real life. Yeah, you had that. That's it's a showman. You have to have a showman talent. Right. Like, it's different just editing shit and putting it. Right. Whenever you're on your phone looking at media, it only takes five seconds for someone's attention span. Yeah. But when you're at a show, yeah, they're there. Hours. They're there. Yeah. They can't, they don't have like different apps showing up. They're, they don't have like, you can't teleport to different shows whenever right. you're like whatever. you're their dopamine. Yeah, you're giving them their dopamine hits. That's crazy, but um, we're 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 actually gonna switch things up instead of doing dream journal at the end because I actually remembered a dream. We're gonna do it right after Graham's basement from now on. So let's get right into the dream journal, and it was pretty fucking terrifying, and I'm I'm gonna explain why. <laughs> Lit pizza, bro. <laughs> God damn it. I haven't had pizza in a while. But uh, the one off of Blue Bonnet's better than the one that's in LSU. Noted. But this this was my dream. Tell me if this would scare the shit out of you. So whenever I type these dreams out, I literally wake up, type it out so it's like illegible and I have to like kind of edit it later. So in an airplane for 16 stops and we almost collided because the plane was on top of us another plane was on top of us about to intercept and i remember i remember i'm remembering what it looked like so imagine you're in a plane and then like you look out the window and then like there's another plane just like fuck up there and then it was it looked like it was gonna meet so like i was seeing that <laughs> and then uh, I felt like I was in a hamster ball in space because we were going up and down so violently like a free fall. And me saying that, I remember just the plane just going up and down, you know, like that free fall. Yeah, that, fe yeah. that feeling in your stomach. I had that for like an entire, almost the entire dream, like that Holy shit. feeling. And it just, I, I think that's why I remembered it because it Probably gave so. me such like a violent a fucking reaction. ridden, <laughs> induced a coma. What the fuck was I even flying to that had 16 stops? And why 16? Epstein's Island. Shit, bro. Me and, <laughs> me and Bill Clinton, bro. Bro. Justin Trudeau, too, apparently. Everybody, apparently. Everybody. That but, one blew my... That not really blew my mind, but... Dude, it, honestly, it, if anybody's name shows up there, it doesn't blow my mind anymore. I just I assume mean, everybody's like that now. Yeah, any, uh, <laughs> any, 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 yeah pretty much anyone who has money. Yeah, it's like they have to do that. Like, if you have over, if you're in the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you just have there. to do that. You're like, you enter like a secret pact, and then right. that's like the requirement for it. Oh, speaking of that, I've been getting back into my conspiracy shit, my, <laughs> yeah. my conspiracy bullshit. Amping that bullshit up, let's what? go. <laughs> I've been, I watched, I'm, I'm not done with it, but it's a two-hour Alex Jones like movie mm -hmm. about the Bilderberg. The Bilderberg. The Bilderberg group. The know. build a bear? No, Bilderberg. Oh no, I oh, don't know about that. Uh, -uh. I the last thing I looked up was, uh, I mean, I might get algorithm, but like PizzaGate and all that. Apparently, they choose everything that's going on. Mm. Apparently, they meet one time a year, and apparently, they uh, they decide what's going to happen within the next twelve months. You see, you saying that you need to watch that animated show that I told you about. I'm on like episode three. Oh, dude, do you like it? I. Love it. Yes. From the first, from the first like ten seconds of the guy bitching in front of the White House, gets picked up by black cars, <laughs> and then is flown to a fucking base. And I'm like, yes, dude. Yeah, I, you're exactly. It's right up my fucking alley, dude. Bobby Lee voices the yes. scientist. It's, I, w it's I wish he was a little bit more crazy. I do too, man. I wish I don't, he was a little bit more crazy. I don't think they wrote his character in well enough. I don't. They don't th I don't think they. Did I watched either. the whole thing. That he I th he has an episode where he talks a lot, but other than that, it's not really a lot. But I mean, it's I, not I, like Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah. And he needs to be crazier. Correct. Yeah. I think I think he could like take the show to like another level if 
his character would have been written different. Yeah, like kind I of like too. a crazy person. Because like you can tell whenever he would voice his lines, if the writing was like able to accommodate the energy that he puts right. into it, it would have been better. Like I want to hear him yell. Yeah, I want to hear him yell and act crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to hear, and that's like the perfect kind of TV show for him to do. Dude, that. how do you like each of those characters though? I love them. I love like one of them is like the all last, in the media. Yeah, the last episode I watched was, uh, and it's fucking insane, man. Where the dad who started whatever, yeah, um, the retired scientist or whatever, he needed a liver, and he was going on social media and was going to tell all the secrets and whatnot. <laughs> I love it just to keep drinking. Yeah, just to keep drinking. <laughs> I need my livers. He's like, you promised me livers in this fucking contract. <laughs> Yeah, I, know y'all I, har- want. <laughs> I know y'all are harvesting livers down there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my liver. Dude, and they say so much shit just like... It, all of it is like a, like a conspiracy and they're just like saying it. That's what I like about it. Some of the artwork that's in there, like uh, the... Uh, what do they call that? The intro song or whatever? Mm-hmm. They have some uh, some imagery that I really like that's in there. I think it's Like some very- one-eye shit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very well animated, very yes. well drawn it's too. Very well done. I I didn't think I would like it as much because I like I told you I don't get into animated shows and think that they're funny. It has to be good. Yeah, like the last animated show I got into was uh, BoJack Horseman. I couldn't get into that or F is for Family. Oh well, I got into F, well the I only reason F is for Family before BoJack. The only reason I think F is for Family is a little good is because of Bill Burr. And I like his character. Yeah, I like Bill Burr's character. I like I just, how they... It just doesn't eat me. F is for family meets the energy that I, that I want to have. Yeah. With the yelling and all that kind of shit. Yeah, it does. Isn't it like the like an, a typical 80s family? Yeah. Or seven, it's 80s, right? I was, yeah, I think it's 80s. Yeah. I was thinking about that earlier. I uh, think when I get my house, I want, it, I want it to be like a 70s kind of feel. Dude. I want some fucking shag carpets. Yep. I want some <laughs> shag carpets. I want I want those old looking chairs with those wooden legs that look like peg legs. Yeah, dude. My, all the way down. my boss actually just sold some. Damn. Could have given them to you, bro. Damn. Start your house out. You got the Damn, two chairs. Bro. You just need the house. Yeah, the house. <laughs> the, you know, the, the mortgage, you know, the furniture to accommodate. Yeah, money. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely fucking need that. For our government to stop printing money. So my money is worth money, dude. Let let's just let's just print our own money. BKL currency, sure, it'll work. We'll be like UK with monopoly money. <laughs> and every dude, we other can make a, a crypto <laughs> European BKL crypto, bro. Ooh, yeah, pump the stock, dude. That would be insane. If we just got all of our fans to just fucking pump the stock, dude. Well, that's what people fucking do now. Right now, crypto is not regulated. Yeah. Pump the stock. <laughs> Let's fucking go, bitches. <laughs> Pump the stock. All you gotta do, all you gotta do to change anything is a tweet nowadays, bro. Yep. You just don't call me out for any uh, nefarious bullshit. Yeah, we didn't officially just tell you all that. Yeah, we're just telling you pump the stock. We're not telling you that we're gonna. I mean that we're. All right, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> <laughs> what games have you been playing? Vanguard, just a little bit, but it's been pissing me off. Wow. <clears throat> Because I'm not trying to sweat every fucking game I play. <laughs> I feel you, I feel I'm you. I'm not trying to sweat every fucking game I play. I'm a fucking second prestige, like level 70. Mm-hmm. You're up, I mean, that's that's I pretty good gotten, progress. Oh, you think that's good progress? I've only gotten two weapons completely mastered. Dude, that's like tremendous unlocked. progress. Like everything unlocked. Yeah. I haven't unlocked all the camos for a single weapon. Like, I've unlocked... All the challenges to get the camos, mm-hmm. but I haven't gotten like gold for any of them. And I think I've spent more than twelve hours playing the game. Oh wait, only twelve hours, and you're prestige two. It's weird. What? So your first prestige only goes up to like level fifty, and then you prestige, and then I think you got to get. I think it starts back at zero. Or one. Yeah. After your first prestige. And then I think it goes up to like 50 or 60. And then your second prestige. But then it just keeps on going up. You must rank up pretty fucking fast. It's weird. Um, it, There was a double XP weekend. Mm. Uh, 
last weekend and maybe the weekend before. And you were fucking racking up. I was, but uh, some people did. A lot of people did math on this game for the double XP stuff. And apparently the double XP for weapons weren't counting right on DOS house and shipment. What do you mean not counting? Like I, I wasn't applying the double XP to the weapons. Correct. They were just getting regular. Correct. Ah. And so a lot of people speculate that they knew about this and did it anyway. And so false advertisement shit. That's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah. Um, so there, there's a lot of glitches, like a ton. I watched this video the other day, and someone put it on Reddit. And, I mean, it's like a fucking list, like, this long. Yeah. And that was after someone who I'd been watching. Um, His name is Blame Truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, calls himself the Cod Father. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Um, His <laughs> energy has been up lately about Vanguard. Like, he's been yelling into the mic, and I love it. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Like, rage or, like, hype? Rage. <laughs> and I love it. Um, he ends most of his videos by saying, um, as always, I want to suplex Joe Secott. Is that, uh, uh, who is that? Uh, I think Joe Secott owns something to do with Activision Blizzard, yeah, something yeah. like that. <laughs> Fuck him up. I want to suplex Joe Secott. You, you bitching about a game makes me want to bitch about a game now. Now that I finally like delved into Battlefield 2042. I heard there's a lot of glitches for that too. And yeah, it's uh. But I heard that they released notes and hired someone else. Yeah, they did, the, uh, and they just released released patch three, which the list is insane. But the game just came out, and you're already getting that. You're Fucking already Vanguard has been out uh, since last month, mm-hmm. and they still have this many glitches in Zilch. And no like, updates. Silence. silence. No updates at all people for Vanguard. Are, people don't know if we're getting. A wait, patch. wait, wait! You've never gotten any updates since the game has released. No, like they're just radio silent. What? Yes, they're radio silent. As far as I'm aware, they're radio silent. That's um, insane, man. Usually, I do nowadays, know there's an update coming out. No one knows if it's gonna fix these glitches. No one knows if it's coming out before season one or after yeah. season one. Just radio silent. See, like, I, I I like how Battlefield is releasing these updates and, like, being transparent because they have, like, a whole fucking paragraph that's just, like, we know we fucked up, blah, blah, blah. But, like, they they keep doing it, you know? I know, just... Re- just like, I, I, that that just apology is just... It, it doesn't mean anything. I agree. You're going to complete... You're going to always release games that are, like, 60 to 70% done, and then it'll be good in, like, two months. And then by that time... People are fucking drawing drawing away from it unless it gets like some random trending topic that like you're that they're trying to shoot for with a really good update. Yep. But right now, Battlefield 2042 is pretty fucking bare bones. But it did get better after that uh, after that patch. I think I know it what they're doing. It feels more Battlefield like. I think I know what they're doing. Both Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty. What? I think they're releasing games. Uh, is this an early access game? Yeah, this was early access. Okay, I think they're releasing early access games and cutting corners by having its user base beta test it for them. Yeah, that's how it seems. Which that's should that's not how it's supposed to be. Like, no, your consumers it's not. Aren't your beta testers? It's not an open source project. Like Correct. it's a company project that you need to have professional testers to test things out. Like one of the biggest things, and I've noticed this a lot because it happens to me a lot. Um, that's dude. That makes sense. It it's they easy. cut a whole bunch of people oh, from yeah. my EA game testing job. Oh yeah. So maybe they've been cutting corners on all of that, and then just I think like trying to save money on all that. Yeah. But uh, wow, that that's a revelation. so in Vanguard, this is a a big thing, and it should have been fixed when the map was developed. Um, I get stuck on shit all the time. And like trying to vault over and like jump and yeah, like either cut mantle corners. over shit, cut corners, or <clears throat> move to the side, like back up and then move to the side so I'm behind something. Mm-hmm. I'm always getting stuck on something. Mm, that's it's they had that problem in the last battlefield, but they fixed it for this one. But that's like the only thing that I think that they have fixed. Well, my only question is, it's 2021. Modern Warfare 2, the first one. Because mm-hmm. apparently they're releasing one in 2022. Modern Warfare a 2. second remaster? 
no, dude. Like a, if like we're a, going to second remasters, man, what? Like, no, 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 no. Like, you know how Modern Warfare 2019 is just called Modern Warfare? Yeah. Like, Modern Warfare, I think, 4 was called Modern Warfare. So, they're making, like, these huge games now. Like, Modern Warfare is, like, a huge thing because it has all of these I, different elements to it. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you name Battlefield it? is doing the same thing. They released 20, 2042, and they have this thing called Battlefield Portal where it brings all of these other games into it. So, they're trying to make, like, big, massive media game experiences. Right. As opposed to focusing on one game... They're spreading out all their resources and making it like shit. Yep. Which I don't understand. Why does Call of Duty need to release a game every year? They don't, man. Exactly. People release a game fucking, every five years. That doesn't give me enough time to like get really good and be at the level that like I'm... Um, right. And not everyone has the resources or time to get early access. Yeah. And, and not everyone game. are sweats that play streams. Exactly. And, Play 10 hours a day. And I don't have the greatest KD. I think my KD on Call of Duty is like a like a point eight nine mm-hmm. or point nine oh something like that. And I'm like sweating every game. Yeah. Like, it's really it's not like that good. But The it's, skill base is like really fucking turned up. Yeah. Like, I'm sweating every game. Like, I I, I think my longest kill streak is like a 14. Mm. Now, it, that may have changed because I don't know how... Those kill streaks are counted if it's gun kill streaks, or if it's those are gun kill streaks. What you what you got? Streaks. The fourteen, I, I think. Because mm-hmm. I, I know what you're talking about. They have like support kill streaks or some right. shit like that. Because the last time I played Call of Duty, which was yesterday, I got like a a kill chain. I think, Bro, I, I think I killed everyone on the team like three times in a row. Speaking of that, but that was with support. So yeah, shit was blowing up left and right, and I had dogs. Dude, dogs dogs are fantastic. But speaking of kill streaks and stuff, I've been I've been uh, 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 frequenting the C five on twenty forty two, and the most satisfying thing is whenever they have this thing called a hovercraft or like a hover whatever. It's the most broken thing in the fucking game. <laughs> Basically, you know those things that they go uh, in the swamp with. It's like the big hover thing uh, with the big wind in the back. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I don't know what that's called, but it looks like that. Yeah, like like an airboat, but it's like on land, and you can like drift. There's like a minigun. You you can't really hit the people inside. It's fucking fun to shit. Me and me and Wes, dude, we were around. uh, uh, We were playing Conquest. We were on A, and the layout of where A was, there's like a circle, a circular track, and I was like, that's perfect. So me, Wes was the gunner, and then I was just, like, drifting. There was tanks shooting at me and Wes, and I was just fucking they swerving. They couldn't hit you because no. you're fucking... There's no way. But um, Sideways around all the motherfuckers. But I've been frequenting the C5 explosive because the most satisfying thing is whenever the motherfuckers come up and think they're going to run over me. Wait, time out. Is C5? It's like C4, but apparently okay. an upgraded thing for 2042. Keep it 50-50 history. <laughs> C4. <laughs> But I, I would just throw it out, and I'm masterful at it, man. I'll throw it in midair and then fucking blow it up as they're coming up. And I have so many Holy clips shit. of me just doing that. So I'm going to make like a little compilation, and I'm going to put it up on the channel somewhere. Yeah, It's so fucking satisfying, yeah, I need man. to see that. Tanks, hovercrafts. At C4. Like in, well, uh, it, in, in Battlefield, it's easier. Oh, okay. Call of, Call of Duty is like... That's, it's way more skillful to I be was using C4. okay at it in, like, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. I couldn't do any of that. But, I mean, Battlefield, you have a fucking vehicle that is sometimes, like, in the middle and just not even paying attention to anything. You can just run up, place that bitch on there, and blow everybody in there. Right. Especially... It, it's, yeah, because I've seen people back in the day mm-hmm. uh, go and play C4 on a heli- helicopter sucker. And <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever they get into it and start taking off and start going this way, then he blows it up. <laughs> Oh, man. It's great, especially whenever they deploy their smoke and they think I can't fucking see them. I'm like, you think I'm some fucking blind bitch? Without my glasses, yeah, but I got my glasses on, pussy. My f- ma- mask. Um, mask. <laughs> oh, man, I miss J-Rock. We need to do like a, a Trail Park Boys segment. Heard that. Or something, or something Mavk. like that. We need to dress up for it, though. Dude, yes. <laughs> um, I need my Leahy costume. Is there any games that you're looking forward to that are coming out? Have you tried Halo Infinite? Uh uh-uh. uh. I was never like a Halo it's player. Pretty fun. I haven't played a Halo in a while, and it it. That's the what I first heard. First two or three matches I played, I was like yelling, but not in a rageful manner at all. It was like it was. I was joy. 
Right. It was pure joy. That's what I heard about the new Halo. I was like, I heard oh. it was really good. And it's getting a lot of good reception. Everybody's like, uh, 2042 Vanguard Infinite is saving the day with these uh, this holiday release or whatever. Right. There is one game that I can think of that I'm looking forward to. Mm. I don't know when it's coming. Skate 4. Dude, you and me both. Whenever that comes out, bro. It's coming out. There's been, I think, a trailer. Somewhat of a trailer. Hmm. Like, I don't think you get to see any gameplay. Well, if there's anything that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's updates. Oh, Yeah, like, shit. there's updates. Like, like, in the past year? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah, let me show you. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a fucking... We'll do a Skate 4 segment, and then we'll uh, we'll end the show. Because that's, uh, that's news. Yeah, so this is the trailer. Okay, it's been 11 years... And we all want to know, what's up with Skate? So, this is the trailer. This is all what it Bro, looks you're like. getting me hyped. The truth is, it's early. We're still working on it. You're so, this was July 19th, 2021. So. No, roll it. I want to see this whole thing. Okay. Has anyone seen gameplay? No. Well, a couple people have seen it. What people? Ah! Yeah, see, like, so Garrett Jenner is in this. You've seen it? It just looks beautiful. This whole open world. Playing online sessions like that. Not the board. Dude, what if it's actually good? Like, what if it's actually, like, at least as good as Skate 3 or an upgrade? Yeah, you can cry. It looks like they're redoing all the physics. Yeah, that that so, looks bare bones, bro. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a completely different game. So I'm kind of hoping that they're changing up the the foot mechanics. Yeah. To make it more like Skater XL or something. Yeah, make it more realistic. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm hoping for instead of Imagine. another like arcade game. Because after playing Skater XL, I don't really want to go back to an arcade style game. Okay, imagine imagine this. You pop in skate, right? right that's that's the, the trailer. And the lights are off. You turn it up, you boot it up, and then you you push forward on your board the first time uh, the first five minutes, you get that same fucking feeling from skate three. Oh, I'm gonna fucking play it regardless. I don't yeah. care what the, the controls are, I'm gonna play it regardless. God dude. Oh, I was so nostalgic, happy. I still play skate three. I hadn't played in a very long time. I have it on my Xbox just like ready to fucking go. Cause I just, I love fucking doing kick flips and grinding on shit. I, just doing lines. I, I loved it. The same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Yep. It's fun. I loved playing Skate 2. Skate 2. I never really played Skate 2. I played all three of them. Wait, I think my brother had Skate 2 and we played that and then it got fucking scratched up and then we played Skate 3. Rip. Rip Skate Rip. 2. <laughs> Rip Skate uh, I think we one. had that too. The first one, was but great. we only played the third one. I I'll never forget, um, going from like a Tony Hawk skateboarding game, and then getting skate. That's so different. Whenever you went to press like A and you did a kick flip and, on Tony Hawk, and then now you get to control which trick you do, and like with the, your thumb. You get more creativity. You actually know which trick you're the going. The power for. of your ollie depends on like how. Like yeah, how hard you how do hard it. you snap it, or like the perfect time to yep. snap it. it. That's incredible, all the, man. All the tricks look better. Everything just that's looks what better. they really need to focus in on. They need to hone in on that feeling of like, uh, like you said, mending in kind of like the realism of XL and still keeping that skate three feel of like how good the buttons are and how right. good the layout is. I think if they're gonna do so, like all all, all the skates. Um, each trick was an animation, mm -hmm. so they all always look the same. Right. Unless if like you picked a uh, like a different default character, and they that, had, like a different swag to them. Like, yeah. Walk. Because they actually like use that person's uh, real life physics. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, they're going bare bones with all that's that. That's kind of how it is in uh, Skater XL. Uh -huh. So like Tiago uh, Lemos in real life, he's got one of the biggest ollies and switch ollies. He's one of the skateboarders. In Skater XL, the physics are a little bit different. And they take that into consideration that yeah. he can do really powerful ollies. Yeah. And, and his so character goes higher. By default. No his shit. is a little bit higher. It's like a fucking NFL like Madden rating. Yeah. But what I really like about Skater XL 
is that they don't go for animations on the tricks. They go by trick physics. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know how they did it, but I guess they got someone to flip a board every which way you can possibly flip it. Cause that blows my mind. I just changed my uh, stat settings, and I think the other day, yeah, last night, I did five tray flips. Every single one of them looked different. What? Every single one of them looked different. And that's like, that's base? Base game? No, no, this is modded play. Okay. Yeah, I mean, still, play. for someone to go through <clears throat> and mod but that. But even and... in base play, you can do five tray flips. All, look- all five of them can look different. And that that's like that's one trick. Yep. All of the tricks they probably have and that's five alternatives. That's what I really like about it because it gives it like a, a a real feel to it. Right. If you keep seeing the same animations over, whether you're paying attention to it or not, it's gonna feel different than something that has five different like all all, like all the animations. Yeah, five different right. animations versus one. I mean. So the 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 stats that I switched to, I don't make my own stats because I don't have hours of just free time to sit down and just <laughs> work on it. So I use Milky's. And so he, uh, with the new XXL mod update, you can... And they're still updating that shit too. Well, like it this seems is, dedicated. This is a modder mm-hmm. updating his own stuff. So the community is still fucking like thriving. Oh, yeah. It seems like it's it, it updates and you tell me like something new every single time. Yeah. They, People fucking have, grinding on that game. Yep. Because it's still technically a beta, no shit. Even though it's released on all platforms, how much is it? Like twenty nine, nineteen? I think it's like forty bucks. Oh no shit! So whenever they release it base, it's probably gonna be like what sixty? I don't even know because they're radio silent with their community too. I don't. No mm. one knows what they're playing, and everybody's just like modding it, and they're just like, okay, what, dude? They're probably sitting back and seeing every. <laughs> but they say the stats menu is not in their. It's not. It's not a part of their future. Like that's not what they're working on. Oh, so they weren't radio silent about that. Pretty much. What the? F- and the stats menu is the biggest thing that modders use. That's how you make it look realistic, because you can control gravity, flip speed, and all that. They're jealous of the modders' capabilities. That's what I think. Yeah. So my modded gameplay now, when I do a tray flip, like my leg swings around all the way. Shit. Like by itself. Like I used whenever I used to do a tray flip, I would either not spin my back leg all the way and so it would stay out Mm -hmm. or I would spin it all the way and it would make it look like it's going like that and catch it. Now it just does it by itself. That's incredible. Yeah, it's insane. I'm getting the goosebumps. (laughs) What, describing Skater XL? I take a shit. (laughs) (laughs) I actually have to take a shit too and I have to eat and I have to bike. So not have to eat but I gotta take a shit. God, I need a, I need a, Oh wait, dude! I got f- fucking frozen nuggets and rally fries. I can I can whip up real quick. Rally fries, bro. dude. If you just like a a basic frozen item like chicken nuggets, you can just spice that bitch up by adding like some rally fries to it, oh, and yeah. then you got like a good uh, like uh, a good ish meal. Yep. But speaking of that, we're gonna let the Dak attack with the Mac in the back of the sack roll us out while we think about chicken nuggets and rally fries. And they shits. need yeah, and taking shits. I took a fucking. Like thousand wiper shit earlier today, bro. It was fucking ridiculous. Heard that? Yeah, it's it's gnarly. But this is Coral. It's a bonus track off of his Collective Thoughts EP on SoundCloud. Go check it out, and we will see y'all next episode seventy four. And we have a like, um, comment, subscribe, flick, ding dong, all that good stuff. Flick your bean and be prepared for a good Ladsmus. Ladsmus. Lattismus. All right, that.